Welcome to IT and Automation and in this Kubernetes tutorial series and today we will cover a topic around scaling and in particular HPA horizontal pod auto scaler. We will look into introduction side of things, key feature of HPA. We will deploy some configuration and we will see it scaling in a horizontal fashion and we'll monitor and get more into some problem scenario. So here I will get SPA, nothing is installed at this point in time. Let's look into all of the namespaces, nothing there. Okay, so how does SPA actually work then? Right? So this is a little flowchart here. With SPA starts targeting deployment replica set or stateful set and it tries collecting the metrics. It uses the metric server in Kubernetes and it starts evaluating the metrics based on those metrics collection. And evaluating metrics happens and then com com compares against the threshold. And if the threshold is above, it will increase the pod count. And if threshold is below, it will decrease the pod count and that's how it applies the scaling and for the sake of rest condition it will wait for the cooldown period and then repeats the process again so it will collect the metrics evaluate the metrics scale up or down and repeat so configuration side of things, let's look into these two deployment here, manifest here. Um, SPA manifest here, it is uh, API version, that's the wrong API version, it should be v2 rather than beta2. Kind horizontal pod auto scaler name, we will give it nginx SPA inside the namespace SPA demo and we shall reference that by the kind deployment and name of the deployment, which we will create using that another file and we'll call it nginx deployment. And we are setting here minimum replicas and maximum replicas when it scales upwards or descales downwards. Uh, we will say it can go as high as 10 and as low as one whenever the utilization is below the threshold or above the threshold. So how does that work is it will look for metrics around CPU utilization and it will check for 50% utilization there. So let's edit that, that must be V2. And let's uh, close that, let's apply it using kubectl. Uh, okay, there is no namespace as such, so let's create a namespace, let's be a demo. Using that command we created, applied, and it got applied. Now if we look into SPA, so that is being applied here under that namespace, under that name against the deployment, target of 50%, and that is our configuration. So here, you, you were seeing the replicas and all sort of counts there, target, target is unknown. Obviously, we don't have an Nginx deployment just yet. So our configuration looked like this, which is looking at the Nginx deployment. That select target reference is not currently available, which is the reason why you will see zero replicas and unknown targets as it doesn't have any anything to measure against. So let's look into deployment side of things here. We are trying to install Nginx and in, inside the namespace has be a demo with some 3 pu requests and limits. And we also install a sidecar. This Polynux stress is a sidecar which runs a stress test against um, against the container. So in this case, we are doing a stress test in the same pod. Let's apply that manifest. It got created. And if we look into that, 
Um, it, it saw the replicas, it, it is showing replicas as one, but still as unknown target. So let's see if it gets created. Slightly slow here. Eventually it should come up. Okay, here it is. And both of those, Polynux and the other. So as I said, Polynux is a stress test container which will run some load tests to mimic the environment being a bit here so that we can produce the CPU. Here if we update this replica min replica to be two we will see that SPA will create that another pod hopefully soon. there let's see yeah there we go and what i was trying to show is the relationship between hsp and deployment we didn't scale it through the deployment or replica set but we scaled it through the hspa by saying i need a minimum number of two replicas for this particular container but from the hspa settings right so now let's try to get it one and see if down scale it through the deployment and you see that coming back again so replica count becomes two all the time so now let's try to decrease the cpu so that we can hit that benchmark quicker than uh, what it is now so let's reduce the cpu limit and request and especially for this stress test container as well so that whenever it hammers we meet that 50% utilization threshold quicker than um, quicker than the normal period. So it will re refloss all of those pods. And still target is unknown. Sometimes target unknown is because of metric server not being available. Uh, you can look into this query against the slash API endpoint and if you see metrics here it is working as expected if not then maybe there is something wrong with installation once you fix that out or let's see here uh, let's see here that HPA was unable to compute replica count so if it cannot compute the replica counts it will not be able to uh, scale uh, based on those metrics So it is still unknown. So let's see top node This command shows if metric API is available or not um, Quick and dirty way of say checking it and it is not Obviously as it mentions there it is not available. So let me quickly go in the background and fix that metric server I believe it is due to host network not being available now I did fix that problem and if I look there is a current CPU utilization and target CPU utilization and it has scaled the deployment to 8. There we go. Yeah, that is 8 um, as, it, as it stands. So let's try to reduce that number to B5 max and see how that reacts. Uh, let's go here and do that five. Oops, let's do five and let's increase that as well. So if we look into here by upgrade, uh, updating the threshold to be 80% and the max pod be five, if we describe that, it will say okay current is 10 but desired is 5 still cpu utilization is unknown because it tries to uh, check the metrics and figure out the average cpu utilization across the pod that's why it is taking its time but if you uh, run this with a watch against the namespace i must describe the namespace there If you do that, okay, here comes the target is available now, 120% out of our threshold 80, which is way above. 
so it has scaled all five. So let's quickly try to do it seven max and see if that gets uh, scaled up as you could, you would expect because of the average CPU count is higher. If we do that once again, let's apply and then once again. And max part seven, the current is five, so it should get you seven pod quite instantly. Yeah, few seconds of wait and there we go. There is that seven replicas. So in this setup, we effectively demonstrated the HPA functionality by creating a controlled environment where CPU load triggers a scaling event and allows you to observe and verify the auto scaling behavior in Kubernetes. We, we've used that stress test to mimic the real world scenario where CPU got spiked up and this it tries try to scale upwards um, whenever the CPU threshold was higher. And it would have reacted in the same way when whenever the threshold goes below when the CPU goes below the threshold, it would try to uh, shrink down the replica count. So yeah, I hope you learned something today by the virtue of this video and uh, see you soon. Thank you.